Jack, thank you for taking the time to join us on RCFC TV. You've had another call up to the Scotland Under 21 squad. That must be really exciting for you. Yeah, obviously every call up I get, I'm really, really happy to get the call up. And this will be my third call up now for the for the 21 side. So a double header against Belgium and Kazakhstan. I can't wait to meet up with the boys and hopefully get to another two caps under my belt. Does it give you more confidence at club level the more you get called up at international level especially with the, the quality of player that you're playing with at, at the Scotland under 21 team definitely yeah especially when you're going away and putting in good performances you can really come back in good stead and hopefully push on and use what you've learned and the experiences you've had on the call up to put that into your club football as well and obviously a lot of the players who are playing in the Scotland 21's side at the moment are playing Scottish Premier League football and are people playing in League One in England and stuff like that so there were some really good players there so it was good to be around them as well as the people at club level as well. Since you've come in here at Ross County you've had a almost a makeshift life back role yeah. at times. Has that been a bit of a litmus test for you in terms of adapting to a new league but also a position that's not probably what you would say is your preferred position? Yeah definitely I've in my playing career so far I've had spells at full back but it's been mainly right back so obviously you do get the similarities and the differences playing right back to left back but yeah, obviously I'm a centre midfielder by trade but at this point in my career I'm focused on playing a lot of games so whether that's in centre midfield full back or in a wide area I um, any position I'm playing I'm happy to be on the pitch and I hope I can use the qualities I have in each position to help the team and, and hopefully get results. You've been exposed to, to some of the bigger games in Scottish football so far at Easter Road against Hibs at Celtic Park. How How is that as a young guy coming into such a, a big environment against some of the biggest teams? Yeah, definitely. This is my first season playing in front of fans at all. And um, my first start was at Celtic Park, so that was a crazy experience. It was one of the things that uh, drew me to coming up here, playing against the likes of Celtic and Rangers at the biggest grounds in the UK so it was I was nervous before but when you're on the pitch uh, I was getting advice from some of the players there when you're on the pitch you'd really barely notice apart from when they get a bit angry or a bit excited but yeah it's it's brilliant I see what people meant when Covid happened where more senior players were saying how they struggled not playing in front of fans after been doing it for so long so now that I've done it I just want to keep doing it week in week out because it, it adds a uh, extra layer to the game rather than just the actual football itself. Coming up to the club, um, I understand you, you had a working knowledge of the manager. Hmm. How big a part did he play in attracting you to Ross County? Definitely, yes. Obviously, I, I knew the gaffer through the Scotland youth ages and um, he sort of oversaw the, all the setup that was there. And um, yeah, and whenever he came into change room and spoke to the lads, I was really, his team's horse and stuff really gripped me. And um, he gave me a, uh, he showed me a bit of interest in the summer to come up, to come down here and um, as soon as I was like straight away I was like yes if I'm going on there I definitely want to come here and play for you so he was he was a massive factor in coming up here obviously along with the level and the, the football that we play here but he was definitely a big a big part of me wanting to come here yeah. Jack obviously you've come up to to Ross County from Coventry a big transition from from what you're used to how have you found it since coming up to Dingwall? Oh definitely yeah so the first um, first two weeks or so took a bit of getting used to because it is a complete contrast to what I've been used to back at back home. I used to live two minutes from the training ground at Coventry and now I'm nine hours away from home in a completely different city and have a completely different routine in my day normally to what I'm used to. So it took a bit of getting used to, but the lads integrated me well and I moved in with Spitz and Grivo, who are two people in the team who have been here for a while. and. They were a big part in helping me integrate and they taught me how to you know, make sure I'm not getting fine and things like that. So yeah, they were two very good in helping me, helping me fit in, yeah. And you've also got a younger brother that plays at Coventry. Do you very much take on the older brother role of trying to give him advice or <laughs> is it a bit more head in each other? <laughs> um, yeah, George is um, at Coventry, yeah. So obviously he's been two years behind me in development for his academy career. So. He's taken the same path that I have, and um, um, do I give him advice? Not very often, <laughs> but um, yeah, we do. We do get on really well, and um, 
he's obviously very happy for me that I'm coming up here and getting the experience that I need. And I'm very happy for him that <clears throat> he's doing what he loves because he's a Coventry lad and he loves loves the club. So yeah, it's, it's great to have a brother who I can relate to on that level, not just as a member of my family, but on a sort of work level as well. So yeah, it's perfect, perfect, yeah. When you think about Jack Burrows as the person and not necessarily the footballer, how much has the, the process of being involved with Scotland and then this loan move back to Dingwall taught you about yourself? Yeah, definitely. I've definitely had to be a lot more independent going into a, a change room where I know literally no one. So, um, yeah, I've had, I learned how to be more independent living by myself for the first time. Well, not by myself, but away from home. So I've had to get used to the responsibilities of cooking for myself and and just the, just the basics like that. So coming away from it, I'll, I'll, I feel I'll be a lot maturer about how I go about things and um, I'll be able to hold my own in situations that I not necessarily would have been able to before. It's been no secret that the team has played very, very well at the start of this season, but the results maybe haven't reflected that. Obviously a big win on, on Wednesday night. How How's the, the mood in the dressing room been across that period? Because it must be hard to beat yourself up when you've played so well as a unit at times. Yeah, it's, you get you get contrasts of every game, of course, but it's been quite, considering the results, it's been a good feeling generally because we know we have been playing really good football and holding our own against teams that are competing for the title, not, not necessarily the teams that are around us. So, yeah, especially to get the first win under our belts last night, it was it was definitely needed because it was long overdue and um, hopefully that result can kick on, help us kick on and um, get results in the future games, especially with our tough run of fixtures coming up. So we um, will gain a lot of confidence from the game on Wednesday. So We, we have this toughest Scottish Premiership in over a decade, as everyone calls it this season. Something that I'm sure players in the dressing room are, are completely relishing to go and pit your wits, especially a young player like yourself, against the best in the country consistently. Yeah, to play against the teams that we are playing against, we're playing against internationals, we're playing regularly for their country. So to play against the best players in the league and in the country, it's a really great test for especially the young players and even every, every player of the club can test themselves against the best players. But for me personally, coming up and playing against people who I look up to was Scotland internationals and stuff like that. It's a great test and a great experience to challenge yourself against the best players, yeah.